Hey, what's up you guys? It's Tyler. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. If you're new, how do you find me this time? Huh? Anyways, today I thought I would dive into my phobias because I have a lot of them. Listen, I'm mentally ill, in case you're new. Um, I have so many things that I'm just so afraid of for no reason to the point where they like impact my life. It's not just like, oh, I'm scared of like walking under a ladder. It's like, no, this fear lives in my brain all the time, all the time. It doesn't go away. It doesn't get better. If anything, it gets worse. Anyways, today's fear, today's phobia is teeth. I hate teeth. They scare me. They terrify me. They horrify me, okay? <laughs> Listen, this is coming up today because this past week I have had issues with my teeth. Do I know what's wrong with me? No. Have I gone through um, like an hour of Googling and then convincing myself that there's something severely wrong with me but still not going to a dentist? Yes. Um, anyways, the whole point of that. Um, I had really bad, like, tooth pain in, like, the back on my bottom left teeth. Um, couldn't bite down. It was very swollen. Um, I googled it, and Google said that I had a tooth abscess. Um, anyways, it ended, it, ugh, it ended up, like, getting better. I still can't eat on this side because I'm scared, um, but it's not, like, super swollen, and it doesn't hurt, like, to the point where I'm, like, unable to do anything. Um, but now it's radiated through pretty much half of my bottom jaw and I get like random pains and like random teeth. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it's terrifying me. Okay. It's terrifying me. <laughs> um, basically since my childhood, I've always been a weird kid about teeth. I don't know why. Um, but I can never pull teeth out like when they were loose I would let it get to the point where you could like see the string and the tooth would be like literally not even connected you could like probably flick it and it would come out but I I just wouldn't do anything with it I would just be like I'm gonna leave it because it grossed me out so bad so bad like there's no way to explain how disturbing the thought was to actually pull a tooth out of my body because it's like in my brain it's like it's attached I don't know. I just, I don't like it, okay? I know it's a baby tooth. It's not like it has roots. But that was terrifying to me as a child. It was terrifying. I couldn't do it. This is gross, but I'm going to share it. Because that's the whole point of this video, I think, is sharing my backstory of my phobia. Which is, I'm 20 years old. It's still, still living large in my brain, man. It's very much there in my brain. Um... This one tooth, it was, I think it was like a first molar. Um, I was a kid, so I had baby teeth. Um, but the adult tooth was growing in. Um, and there was like a gum over it. There was some gum over that tooth. But the tooth was growing. And there was a baby tooth on top of the gum. And the baby tooth was hollow. And there was gum in the baby tooth. And the baby tooth like cracked. And it was just hanging on to the gum. So it was just like little pieces of tooth on this raised piece of gum. I don't know how else to explain it. Maybe you can understand what I just said. I don't have a picture. I was a child. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that in their life. Because it's not... I don't think it should ever get to a point where you have two teeth and there's like gum sticking up. It wasn't just like flat gum. Like this gum was raised because the adult tooth couldn't come through because the baby tooth was still up there. Anyways, that baby tooth was not a full tooth. Like I said, it was cracked and it was just like glued to the gum. Couldn't take it out, couldn't pull it off. I don't, ended up having to go to the dentist and they were like, what is happening here? And they like ripped the pieces of teeth off. Yeah. No, um, but I always had problems like that. Like I would go to the dentist and like they would have to like pull a tooth out or they would be like, hey, this one's really loose. Do you want me to pull it? And I'm like, no, 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 no. Um, I did have to get 
a lot of baby teeth pulled as a kid because I just wouldn't pull them and it was to a point where I was like this thing needs to come out um, so they would numb me and they would pull it out I don't remember much of that but I know that happened at least a few times um, not fun not fun not fun at all I just no 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 um but yeah that was a major fear of mine as a child was that and then when I got like kind of older I got braces I don't I don't remember when it was middle school I think it was like sixth or seventh grade I don't know but got braces they didn't um put the wire in like all they did was the brackets I think or no I don't know anyways my mouth was really crowded I had a lot of teeth this was before I had wisdom teeth in so now I have even more teeth in my mouth I love it but obviously because I have wisdom teeth I can't get them taken out because I'm scared <laughs> I've had them for a while though so if they were a genuine concern I think I would have known by now they're all in they're all fine is my mouth a little bit crowded yeah but it's it's okay I think I don't know I haven't been to a dentist since all of my wisdom teeth came in at least like fully grew in I don't know um I need to go to a dentist anyways so when I got braces I think it was like a month after that they were pulling four adult teeth because again like like I said my mouth was crowded um that was an awful experience extremely awful now that was so long ago I don't fully remember but if y'all want to hear about that I could do that I feel like I filmed that already I feel like I I feel like I did I don't know I don't remember um but point is that was an awful freaking experience I didn't get put under I got put in laughing gas with like little shots of whatever the frick it is um awful awful and that just like deep rooted more of a phobia in my mind it just made it worse so I don't know I'm a full grown adult and I am plagued by this phobia that I have um but also I have nightmares like reoccurring nightmares speaking of nightmares tornadoes natural disasters I need to talk about that um in another phobia video if I ever do one again <laughs> it's so bad I have so many it's a problem I don't understand like what is wrong with me like do I need a therapist to help me on this like I don't understand I don't understand but yeah reoccurring nightmares of like my teeth chipping or like having them fall out or like having them crack open and seeing like really nasty stuff inside like it's all the time all the time like all of my nightmares are like natural disasters being cheated on getting like killed or something and like teeth I don't know why but it's all the time all the time it's a problem <sighs> I'm so scared I'm so scared of like going to the dentist and there being like something major wrong with me and I have to get like a root canal. I can't deal with that. I can't. It's so unsettling to me to even have like my tooth hurt. Like my teeth hurt right now. It's so unsettling. Like I feel, I feel it and I don't like it. It makes me so uncomfortable in my head. It's like, oh, it's not just pain. It's like, I feel like my root of my teeth I feel like every little sensation I feel like stinging I don't know what's going on I'm making this pretty much all up in my head I think but it's just so unsettling to me and I just I make it worse for myself by like googling what's wrong with me I need to just go to a dentist I don't know how to do that though um I don't know how to adult is my final conclusion of this phobia I don't know how to adult I don't know how to get a dentist I don't know how that works I haven't been since I was a kid 
um, and then we quit because my parent didn't want to fill out the paperwork that you have to fill out every year, so we left. And then I never went to a dentist again. Anyways. Also got kicked out of a doctor's office. So I'm just not good with medical things. I know that. That's, that's definitely true. Anyways. Um, I need help, bro. I need help. Do any of y'all understand like teeth things or do any of y'all like have this phobia too probably not but i do it's it's not like oh i'm scared like my tooth is gonna fall it's like this deep unsettling fear i don't know i don't know how to explain it it's like deeply unsettling in my brain in like every part of my body it's very unsettling and i don't like it thinking about it makes me like physically disturbed and mentally disturbed anyways that's the end of my rant i'm gonna go i'll see y'all next week maybe with like a normal video that's not like me ranting about my teeth problems i don't know i feel like my bite has changed like i can't bite down correctly i don't know what happened bro i woke up one day and everything changed i don't know what happened I don't know what I did, I don't know what went on in my sleep, but it's not good. <laughs> I can't freaking eat. Everything hurts. I don't know. I'm going to go cry. Just kidding. Um, but I have cried over my teeth many times these past like three, four days. Because I just, I can't get it out of my head, man. I can't. Anyways, see y'all next week. Follow me on Instagram. It's in the description thingy thing. Anyways, bye.